am your host who loves French toast, Mir, aka Milkshake. This video is a bit different, but still furry related. We're gonna dive into the furry story of how I became a furry. And a little bit more. Uh, I want to say 13 or 14, I had just moved from Connecticut. I was heavily bullied and needed to move back home to lovely upstate New York. It was a small town and at the time a dry town. Uh, however, when we moved again a year later to another location in New York, there was a convention there called Saratoga Comic Con. It was held a few towns over and I went there and actually met my first fursuiter. It was the year 2016. I was just 17 and my mind was not all there yet. It hadn't caught up to my body like it is right now. I knew somewhat of furries and was actually in the closet supposedly uh, since I well was teased by friends at the time. So, I guess I was a furry since then? <laughs> After a while, my friends Red, Dusky, and Lucifer attended a convention called Salt Lake City Con in 2017, where I bought, oh god, <laughs> ringing bell cat ears and matching hand paws. I was still in the closet. Yeah, go figure. As my 19th birthday passed, I said to myself, and to my buddy Red, Fluff it! I'm a furry! And at age 20, I threw a furry birthday party! Yay! At the age of 20, I quit my job at Great Escape, then miraculously moved out of my mother's place, into my, at the time, boyfriend's parents' house, and found myself with more furries. I attended furry conventions like Furpocalypse, FWA, Anthrocon, and Anthro New England. Unfortunately, his parents did not like me due to my issues of speaking in a different way and misunderstanding 99% of what I was trying to say. Unfortunately, this led me getting kicked out literally two days before my birthday. Yeah. Anyways, so my buddy John from Cali came down. My boyfriend at the time I was still with, we rented a house and I wish I could say it was happily ever after, but then I got sick at Anthrocon 2018, which is where most of my problems stem from. I had ER visits, I had abdominal pains, and straight up fainting spells, which we could not figure out for the life of me what was going on. Then the bad part happened. COVID hit. And then I was stuck. In a place where I didn't know very well of. Then... My at the time boyfriend and I broke up after my mini heart attack, which, by the way, off record, say that I didn't have one, but told me on record that I did, which didn't make any sense to me, and still doesn't to this day. However, we still talk. He's still a good guy. Anyways, furry related stuff. <clears throat> So, furry cons weren't fully a thing until like 2022, 2023, so I ended up 
playing a lot of VR chat, Overwatch, and, well, childhood games to pass the time. I even took up sewing. Can you believe that? I took up sewing. Huh. I swiftly moved out back to my old town, not my hometown, and moved in with my buddy Dusky and my two ex-friends of mine. Who were originally there, but thank God moved out a couple months later, and I dated somebody named Iro at the time, and Iro moved in with me. No offense to Dusky, we are still good friends, we cannot live together. There were various reasons on why, I will not go into detail, however he and I are still really good friends. Unfortunately, while living at Dusky's place, my at the time boyfriend and I broke up. And then I dated Order of the King, and I still am, and I am happily engaged to him. Yay! I love him. I love him a lot. After moving out of Dusky's place, disaster struck again in July 2023. Won't go into full detail since I covered it in a video before, but I went to the hospital, stayed a few days, then ended up moving in temporarily with my mom and her roommate. As of this recording, I am moving out. I'm supposed to move out the first day of April of 2024. I don't know when I'm uploading this. Luckily for me, my ex, Iro, went back home to the west side of the United States. We don't talk much. There's reasons for that. Well, so... So here we are now, in the present, I'm in the furry fandom, been through a lot of endeavors, a lot of hardship, got help from the ground up, uh, it helped shape me into what I am today, it helped me get the friends that I have now, I can sew a lot better, um, can't machine sew yet, I'm still learning that, and hopefully, without cringing at myself, can happily say, I'm a furry of the furry fandom. Also, side note, uh, they did find out what was wrong with me, partially. Uh, I have endometriosis and pseudo seizures. So, yeah. That's one of the other reasons why I don't upload as often, because I faint. A lot. And I get stressed out. A lot. And I'm in pain. A lot. Surgery did not help back in February, but it did help me find out my diagnosis for endometriosis. Well, that was the video. Sorry it was a bit personal here and there, but when I type, I kind of lose myself and scripts included. Anyways, have a nice morning, afternoon, or evening, and be the best you can be, even if it's not today, try again tomorrow. Bye!